speak. I said, how's it going, Super Me? Woo! Oh, Mike here. So, as this giant screen says, uh, I cover pretty much all the professional marketing for GoPro, which would be cinema broadcast and photo. And a lot of times, that has melded over the years. So, I didn't quite hear how many people are using GoPros today. That's what I like to see. How many people want to be using GoPros in all of them? Awesome. So, just like you, last year I was actually at the Super Bean. I've been coming to the Super Bean for years, knowing Dan and Michael from, you know, all the previous Final Cut user groups to the changeover. Um, so, before joining GoPro, I was uh, a DP and working in post production and visual effects. And it just kind of seemed like the right fit for me to join GoPro last year. Um, this is a, a newly created role for GoPro. A lot of people think of GoPro kind of as that crash cam or that you know consumer device. But going through it, GoPro is uh, is all about empowering, enabling, and inciting you, our users. I'm a user. All of us are users. GoPro GoPro's success has been because of its users. So all the content that you guys and girls have been shooting, we want to see it. We feature all the hard work that you guys do. If you see a lot of our commercials or you come over to our booth and you see the user generated content that we do, if you're shooting stuff, you never know if we're going to use it for a GoPro commercial. We have videos of the day, we have photo of the day. So there's always ways that we're, we want to see what you're creating. We want you to share it with us. So if you have stuff on your iPhone and you shot with a GoPro, we want to see it. Come up to the booth, come up to us anywhere, and show us what you're doing with our camera systems. It's the only way that we're going to get better and getting you the features and what you like to see in GoPro cameras. So big deal for us this year is that we won a Technology Engineering Emmy. This is our CEO, Nicholas Woodman. This is a really big deal from where GoPro has come to be able to win an Emmy. Thank you. So the video is actually really funny. Obviously, it was all shot on GoPro, so you can check out the actual video of Nick accepting the award with the whole, uh, a pretty much good amount of team from engineering and marketing and the original GoPro employees up on our YouTube channel. And if you've ever seen Nick in person at the giveaways over the years, you know he's just as enthusiastic as you guys are about our products. So professionally, we're here. We're we're content creators, we're filmmakers, we're DPs, we're producers, we're editors, we're visual effects artists. Uh, the greatest thing about GoPro is it is the most versatile camera in the world. There, there is no way that you can't think of a, an awesome way to use a GoPro. Not only because of how small it is, but just what you can do with it. The, the image quality, the, you know, the features, the accessories that we have. So these are just a slight hand for you of um, broadcast TV shows that are using. If anybody has seen one of my favorite shows, Duck Dynasty, the Psy Vision show of Uncle Psy, fully kitted out with GoPros. Um, obviously, like our friend like Andy uh, Casagrande, who does a crazy amount of stuff with the guys uh, from Discovery with Shark Week, um, probably some of the most amazing footage that I've seen uh, from underwater of great white sharks. So. Professionally, people using our stuff for obviously broadcasts. We're here at the National Association of Broadcasters, but also in feature films. And these are just a, a little list of people that have used and are using. Obviously, I've, we've been working uh, a lot with DP Shane Hurlbut on his use of GoPros in Need for Speed. And if, if you know Shane, he's really passionate about new camera technologies and using different types of cameras in new and interesting ways. So they wanted to flip a Ferrari in Need for Speed. What's one of the only cameras available to do that and get that type of POV footage that Shane needed when he came to us for GoPro? So what do we have new here? What are we talking about? What are we doing at NEB? Um, Hero 3 Plus Black Edition was just announced in October. Um, a lot of new features, a lot of upgrades as far as camera capabilities, accessories. And the big one that we just recently announced in the past couple weeks is actually the firmware 2.0 with it Pro 2 2.0. So how many people have had wanted to have more manual control over their GoPro? 
everybody should have their hand up. So, as we don't have full manual control yet, with the new firmware update that just came out, Pro Tune 2.0 enables you to have a lot of different features now. We have, uh, with Pro Tune Color right here, is now you can set Pro Tune Color as well as Flat. So if you're trying to match back with a raw workflow with your Pro, either by itself for, for grading, whether it be individual DaVinci Resolve or Speed Grade or Scratch, you name it, you now can set a flat color profile for matching either back to a camera raw-like workflow or with GoPro Color, which is our typical, what you're used to seeing with our uh, GoPro Color contrast group. There's also EV bias. We now have control over sharpness. You can also uh, have access to, you know, a lot of the features that a lot of you and I have been asking for from GoPro. So the great thing about us is that we're always evolving. So we're listening. The more you come up to us and, and give us feedback about what you'd like to see is what we can get into the cameras. So a lot of the accessories too. Anybody still shooting stereoscopic here? So a few of you. So we have the updated dual hero housing. So now if you're shooting stereoscopic, if not, and you want to be shooting video and stills at the same time, you can now do that with the updated dual hero housing. So if you're needing to pull high-res stills from video, you know sometimes it's not always the best when you're trying to do screen capture for that. So being able to do a side-by-side -side where you're having 12, meg 12 megapixel high-res stills as well as you know whatever shooting mode that you're, you'd like to shoot, whether it be 1080, 2.7K, 4K on our camera, then you can do that as well with the dual hero housing. Uh, we also have the new blackout. So if you need that inconspicuous blackout housing, whether you're shooting on set, you, you, you don't want an actor to kind of get intimidated from a camera right in their face, we have all of these new accessories that you can come check out at the booth. Also, another big update, um, software side is that GoPro Studio 2.0 is out as well as the app. And how many of you have tried to update multiple GoPros over multiple times, you know? Take out the SD card, put in the other one, put in the other one. So now what we've done is enabled it so you can update your firmware over the air. So through the app, the iOS app or Android app, yeah, you can clap for that. That's a big feature. If you've ever had to set up more than one GoPro at a time in a pinch, this is just a great thing, you know. If 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 you have to, do, if you're doing multiple GoPro shots in a, in a production, really taking a lot of GoPros on on set um, in remote, you know. So there's times where people have to update 8, 16, 32, 40 cameras for certain type of productions. So that's actually a really big feature. One of my favorites to come out too is that now you can update um, over the air your firmware and your cameras. So obviously we come back to our users, and now what, um, what I'm going to do is obviously show you what it is you can do with a GoPro camera. We're going to switch over to our, uh, our GoPro Reel and show you some amazing GoPro footage. So let's cue up the Reel. that GoPro is kind of evolving not into a camera systems company but also into a media company. The sheer amount of content that we shoot ourselves but as well as that you're shooting, it's a lot to, it's a lot to manage. You know, we just announced uh, that GoPro has gone live on Xbox. We also have our channel on uh, Virgin America. So if you fly Virgin America, you see GoPro content there and it's just going to keep getting better on that. So. Uh, what I thought I'd do too is invite up uh, one of the uh, filmmakers that we have uh, presenting at our booth today, Cliff Prouse, his other partner Derek Lee, who are uh, directors. They directed an awesome film called Afflicted, uh, which is kind of in nature. I'll let him dive more into it, but uh, let me introduce Cliff Prouse to you. Hi, 
did not know there were going to be this many people here. I'm slightly terrified. Uh, I'm Cliff Browse. I'm the co-star, uh, co-director, co-writer of the movie Afflicted, uh, which is currently playing in theaters throughout North America and is the number one horror movie on iTunes right now. This is a low-budget Canadian movie that uh, we thought was going to live on the web somewhere, so this, is, uh, this has been a, definitely been a crazy ride. And uh, anyways, one of the tools that we used to tell the story uh, was GoPro. And uh, one of the things, uh, the ways that we used it were, first of all, we did shoot some spectacular extreme sports footage with it, but we also used it to capture emotional performances uh, from actors with an intimacy uh, that we couldn't have gotten with, a, with another camera from angles that just, that it's not possible to get. And thirdly, we used it as a pre tool for some of the really extensive uh, stunt sequences you'll, you'll see in the film. Um, so, just to give you a little taste, uh, here's the trailer for our movie, Afflicted. Alright, I'm Cliff Rouse. And I'm Jared Lee, and tomorrow we're going on a year-long trip around the world! We're going to film the entire thing. We're going to post it online as a travel blog. It's going to be epic. sweat and tears into that film and I wanted to have those guys out just because it's an amazing story it's it's basically you know any of us can be doing the same thing here is you know uh, using this technology that's available to us with you know with GoPro cameras um, to be able to tell stories like this and that that's what we want to enable uh, our users to do with our camera systems <laughs> 